Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Let's Tackle Algorithms. Today I'm on Lead Code looking at Remove Element. This seems like a fairly simple one. I kind of want to spend today looking at other answers and how they compare to mine. See what I can learn from other people. All right, let's see. Remove element given an integer array called nums and an integer. Remove all occurrences of val in uh, in nums in place. I mean in place. Let's take a look. In place algorithm which transforms no using no aug auxiliary data structure. Variables blah blah blah. Not okay. I'm guessing they just don't want me to use another array. Since it is impossible to change the length of the array in the same languages, so well, we can in JavaScript, so I'm going to ignore that. Return k. What the hell is k? If there are k elements after removing the duplicates, then the first k elements of nums should hold the final result. Okay. Doesn't matter what you leave beyond the first k elements. Do not allocate extra space. Okay, example one, given an array of numbers, we're looking at three, remove three, okay? Value equals two, zero, one, two, two, three, okay. I'm guessing a filter would do exactly what I want. Should function should return k equals five? Should return k equals five, what? But the first five elements of the nums contain zero, zero, one, three, and four. What? Okay, well, let's just try this. Uh, I believe what filter looks for is specifically searching for things that uh, do meet the uh, what you're targeting. So let's do. Uh, integer and index and integer does not does not equal val your input my output expected to two Just not equal foul. Why isn't that doing what I expect? I'll put empty array. Why is it an empty array? Yeah, I know expected two two. Why isn't it? This is definitely what I was expecting. Well, let's console log this and see what we get. STD out. <laughs> okay, thank you for. So it's printing to the console just fine, but it's not returning it. do what yeah so why is it working in console log but it's huh I don't have my music going. Huh. The console log's fine. So why doesn't it work? Output. Okay. 
I might have to look at the documentation for this. Okay, it takes the element in the index. Cool. Calls a provided compact function once for each element of the array, returns a new array for of all the values for each. Oh, I think because it's all right, let's do this. Instead of filter, let's do map. And it seems like we don't even need the index, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Integer equals value. Return. I mean, I could do a splice. No. Uh, return undefined. Cool. Uh, let's do return. Let's do that. Let's see what that gives us. Undefined, undefined, that's hilarious. Uh, if integer equals value. I don't know why those are becoming undefined. Else return integer. There we go. So what if we do this? What? I don't understand. Five nums equals. Uh, should return k equals five. What? I understand that k equals five if we're expecting the output to be an array. Now that the five elements can be returned in any order, it does not matter what you leave beyond the return k. Function should return k equals. I'm guessing it's expecting the length here, the length of all the in remaining integers. This is zero, one, two, three, four. Oh, hold on. Zero, one, two, three. Three, four. Yeah, I don't know where they got five from. Zero, one, two, three, four. So where where do they get five from? With the first five elements. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I'm miscounting. So it's, I think it's the length. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I don't know what 
five then the but if it's only expecting that then I don't understand okay thanks that, that makes a world of difference let's look at the hints modify the array in place and also says that the element beyond the new length of the array can be anything given an element we need to remove all occurrences from it in the array we don't technically need to remove that element per se uh, I guess what we could do is slice we can move all occurrences of this element to the end of the array using a second pointer. Yeah, I, I suppose. Move the element to be removed to the, at the end of the array. This is achieved by swapping the element with the last element of the array. Okay. I suppose. Yeah, another two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, another direction of thought is to consider the elements to be removed as non-existent in a single pass if we keep copying the visible elements in place. I, I don't understand why a filter wouldn't have worked. It should. Console.log nums.filter integer integer does not equal val and that should give us our array std out two two expected two two Why? Why are you doing this to me? Is it because filter creates a new array? I believe it does, yeah, because it creates a new array. I'm guessing that's why they don't like it. All right, if I can't create a new array or I can't return a new array, I have to modify I guess that's why they kept insisting in place. All right, let's see what we can do. I guess what we can do is do a, does map return a new? All right, I believe it. Map, map, where are you? There you are. Creates a new array, yeah, so I can't map over it. Uh, I guess what I can do is I can create a for loop and I can create new integers or new variables go let's or, yeah let last index equal nums dot length minus one all right then for Let's index equal zero. Let's index less than or equal to last index. Index plus plus. All right. Uh, I guess if num if nums index equals val then what we can do is reassign that so let's do nums last index nums last index equals or equals val I mean, I also need to. Hmm. 
that really doesn't help me for right here though. Hmm. Trying to think. How do I shift all of these over? I guess I can do uh but temp value let's let temp value equal zero. And then what I can do is So I have that value in place. And I need to move this current value to the end. If second it's not equal to val so I want to cut that and we're grabbing that last index going to do next last index all right so we need to put that last index or equal temp value and then what we do oh boy is There we go. Hooray. I kind of want to see what this does now. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I see the out three, three, two, two, three. Son of a nugget. Let's try and use console likes to see what we're getting. Reduce the last index uh, nums minus equals one. Let's see what that does. Wrong answer. Cool, thank you. Uh, okay.
we should hit this. So let's see if we hit hi mom at least. Hi mom, okay cool. We did it twice, that's about what I was expecting. Whoops. That would definitely error out, yeah. Sorry. I'm hungry. Oh. Let's, let's just say. Don't think we're going to hit this I'm hungry here. Yeah, we're just getting hi, mom. If num's last index does not equal value. So we're not triggering this. Uh, if num's ass. Else, if num's last index does equal the value, then index minus equals one. Two to three. Okay, let's see what we can do. Else, else, net x minus equals to one. I need to call this again. I still need to reassign the in it, the value. So let's look at this line by line. Can I move this up and down? No, not really. But last index equals nums.length minus one. So, okay, so this equals to three, or it's because zero, one, two, three. Temp value equals zero to zero, because it's just temporary. I'm not too worried about it. Our right, index starts at zero, goes to when we hit last index. Oh, I don't think I should actually do that because I need to go beyond actually no I, I shouldn't because this should pretty much meet right in the middle of the that doesn't really work for odds though does it oh it, it, it should be fine so if num's last index does not equal value if the current value is not equal to what we're doing then oh then we shouldn't even have to worry about this oh that's that's the last index not the current index so yeah we're working if if the last index or if the current index is equal to value and we hit hi mom okay so we hit we hit this. Now we're checking if the last index does not equal to the value, which it's not. So then what I need to do is Okay, three, two, two, three, our, our input was three, two, two, three, and we got 
two three two three. That's not good. Looks like what happened was uh, two three two three. How did I mess that up? I know I did somewhere. Somewhere within these lines right here. Temp value. Three, two, two, three. Okay, so that did nothing now. Looks like I've replaced that. How? How do I do this? I'm kind of stumped right now. It looks easy on paper because what I would want to do is all right, I see this This index is the value we want to get rid of. All right, so let's assign it to the end. Okay, I see the values at the end is what we're looking for. Let's look at the next one. And then repeat until it's not. I guess what we could do is Ah, uh, I may have broken into that right there. Uh, if the number numbers index equals the value, I need to do I think it's do while. index minus equals one while nums index I think it's uh until no. All right, let's do do while. Let's try that. See what get. See what it gives us. Console dot log nums last index. What's wrong with that? I expect an identifier. and one of these is not like the other. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Actually, no, that definitely needed to be there. Oh, yeah, we, we got an extra one. There we go. 
if that needs to branch off a bit. I only did it once. Okay, I guess because it's... Yeah, all right, I guess that's what I should be expecting. All right, and then... value equals last index index now let's get that back over here nums index temp value and then last index All right, that sh should take care of it, I hope. Not a number. I put three, two, two, three. Are you kidding me? Not a number, three. Should get rid of that. Oh, yeah, whoops. Output three, 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 whoops. That makes no sense. Two last index minus equals one. Wow. Let's see what's going on here. So it looks like what's going on is all right. It hits this. It looks like it's assigning the last variable before, but it's not giving me the temp value is not saving, is what I should say. That's what I was hoping this would accomplish. Let's try that. Okay, that, that's what I want. Log temp is temp is temp value. Plus temp value. Space. Temp is two, current is three. Temp value.
current should now be temp. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was a double equals. I needed a single equals. To, uh, yeah, I'm back to the two, three, two, three. Current should now be 10. Okay, I'm wondering how this happens is what I'm curious about. Oh, because it, it reaches here and then it gets beyond and then it gets to here and it thinks, oh, now I need to go to last index. Oh, uh. If last, that's what it should be, or it's less than or equal to. So I just should do less than last index. That should fix it. Two, two, three, three. Okay. Now we got the array sorted. Uh, does pop return a. I think I can just do pop. Let's get rid of these. So the pop is so we can get rid of those uh, numbers that are at the end, but because it doesn't go to the last, or it doesn't get rid of that last index because we're only doing index less than last index, we put in an additional pop just to get rid of that last value. Could get rid of this and put and declare it here just to clean it up a bit. And then because we're popping it, I think we can get rid of this do while and get rid of that up here let's try this again Ooh. Whoopsie. Wrong answer. Okay. Put three, two. That's weird. That's very, very weird. Oh, I think maybe because of this. That's odd. What happens if I don't pop it? What does it give me? 
three, two, two, three. Oh yeah. All right. So let's let's just put all that stuff back where it was then. Oh, I didn't want to open that. There we go. All right. I don't know why that works instead of the other bit, but it does. I just wish I could optimize it a little bit more. I tried to clean it up, but that didn't seem to work. Huh. I guess, oh, we're already at 40 minutes, so I'm only going to skim over the others. I thought this would be going by a lot faster. All right. Let's run this one more time before I submit it. Wrong answer. Excuse me? Oh, are you kidding me? when it shouldn't be popping right because right here um, this puts me in a pickle to be out. Ah, oh, it's because this this damn pop right here. Whew, that that pop really puts me in a pickle. Oh, actually what I can do is if nums includes Is that wrong? Dumbs up. Includes fell equal false. Are you kidding me? I just told you to. Yeah, none detected. So you should return nums. Instead, you return nothing. Why? Why? You're. Are you kidding me? Let's just do this.
Preacher. Mm. Why? Why are you doing this? I know I'm I'm on the edge. I'm, I'm I'm so close to the end, but why? Why? They said this one was easy. What am I missing? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. So it's returning stuff without even me returning stuff. All right, that was accepted. So we got an in. <sighs> okay. So we got an incident where. <clears throat> I don't want to just do one single if else statement for an array of two if the first index doesn't include it and the second index does. Hmm. Index. Oh, it's because of this right here. It's because of that do while. Ah. Uh. Is assigning this four to a five. That's unfortunate. Um, that's unfortunate. How do I say if
Let's try that. Son of a nutcracker. All right, we're getting close to an hour for this one, so I'm just gonna look at the comments here. I accept my defeat. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that one. Uh, if I remove element, let nums value, let i is equal to zero, i not less than nums dot length, i plus plus, yeah. If nums is equal to five, you could do slice or s splice. I thought that returns a new array. I minus minus, what? I one? Where's the one? Oh, I'm guessing that's what he's replacing it with. I minus minus, that's interesting. I didn't know you could do splice. I thought that returned a new array. Changes the contents of array by re removing or replacing existing elements. Yeah, splice would have been. Could have saved myself an hour by looking up splice. Yeah. Should have just looked up splice. All right. Not now I know. I, I guess I learned something today. Thank you very much. Have a good day.